Welcome to PBS 39 Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. And now your host, Dr. Karen Walton, Provost DeSales University. Welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. This is the eighth contest of the 2016-2017 academic year. It's also the 43rd year that PBS 39 has brought you this academic competition. I'm Karen Walton and I'm delighted to be your host. From now until May, the best and brightest students from 30 schools will compete for the honor of being the Scholastic Scrimmage Champions. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. Let's meet the team from Stroudsburg High School. I'm Lucas Vasilius, a senior. I'm Anthony Wong and I'm a senior. I'm Taylor Flanagan and I'm a senior. I'm Jenna Muscat Rivera and I'm a senior. Stroudsburg's coaches are Sandy Striba and Deborah Thornhill. And now the team from Freedom High School. I'm Billy Sweeney and I'm a junior. I'm Alex Pantaleo and I'm a senior. I'm Linda Mao and I'm a junior. I'm Rachel Block and I'm a junior. Freedom's coach is Michael Evans. The judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, retired English teacher, and Dr. Gary DeLeo, professor of physics at Lehigh University. Remember that the questions on scholastic scrimmage demand rapid recall of factual information and are not necessarily indicative of academic training. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up in U.S. history. This person spoke the following lines during his acceptance speech for the 1960 Democratic presidential nomination. The new frontier of which I speak is not a set of promises. Freedom. John F. Kennedy. Yes, and your bonus. Continuing with famous quotes, what naval officers said the following for five points each? First, as the senior officer during the Civil War, he said, damn the torpedoes, full speed ahead. Uh, Admiral David Fargot. Yes, and at the Battle of Manila Bay, this officer said, you may fire when you are ready, Gridley. Perry. Yes. Uh, Commodore Perry. Commodore Dewey. Ah, okay. It would be no surprise to the audience to know that Alex is ROTC. Toss up in physics. An atom's atomic number is defined as what? Strasburg. The number of protons the atom contains. Yes, that is correct. And your bonus. The mass number of an atom is equal to what? Mass number. Taylor. The amount of protons and neutrons. The sum of the numbers is correct of those two. And next toss-up is in world literature. This writer and cartoonist became known for his stock characters. The snarling wife and her timid, hapless husband, such as Walter Mitty, who escapes into fantasy because he is befuddled. Name this writer who became the managing editor of the New Yorker magazine in 1927. James Thurber, U.S. History. Pictured on the monitor is an American politician whose social reforms for his state were often overlooked due to his questionable tactics. Known for his oratory, he was often called the kingfish. Who is he? That's 
Huey Long, toss up in mathematics. What is the mean of all the natural numbers from one through 10? Add them up and divide by two, or think of a balancing point, and it's 5.5, five and a half. Next toss-up is in language arts. Study this quote from a Morning Call article about the two differing versions of a bill to repeal the raises for Pennsylvania state legislators, administrators, and judges, and correct the grammatical error. Nobody around here wants to let this lay around said House Majority Leader Sam Smith. We want to get this done. Strasburg. Lay should be lie. Lay should be lie. And explain the difference in the meanings of the commonly used verb pair to lay and to lie. But don't consider lie meaning the failure to tell the truth. No but partial credit given. Lie. Michael, uh, excuse me, Taylor, what does lay mean? To lay on top of, to um, sit on top of. Mm. I'm waiting for Mrs. Campbell to uh, decide. Are we thumbs up on that? Yes, they will take that. It's to put her place, but they will accept your answer. And the next is to lie. To rest down. <laughs> to rest or recline. You've got 10 points. Good job. Toss up in chemistry. Which, if any, of the properties shown on the monitor is not a colligative property of solutions? Osmotic pressure, freezing point depression, vapor pressure lowering, boiling point elevation. properties. Toss up in history. Go. Multiple choice. Which one of the following does the President of the United States not have the power to do? First, appoint federal judges. Second, pass laws. Third, Strasburg. The second option, pass laws. Pass laws is correct. Bonus. To bring formal charges against a person, what group must determine whether there appears to be enough evidence to warrant bringing a person to trial? Grand jury? Yes, correct. U.S. geography. What river begins in the upper Appalachian Mountains of northern Pennsylvania and eventually flows south to Pittsburgh? Freedom. Uh, Delaware. Over to Stroudsburg. Sus Stroudsburg. The Susquehanna. It is the Allegheny, far west. Delaware's on the east, Susquehanna's in the middle, Allegheny's on the west of Pennsylvania. Mathematics, the sum of two consecutive natural numbers is 525. Find the two numbers. Freedom. 262 and 263. Correct. And your bonus. Find three consecutive natural numbers whose sum is 804. The uh, captain must buzz in on a bonus. 267, 268, and 269. Good teamwork. Thank you. Toss up in chemistry. When atoms share two pairs of electrons, the bond is called Strasburg. Covalent. Goes over to freedom. The bond is called what? Freedom. An ionic bond. A double bond. Toss up in world history. One of the most famous states in English history is 1066, the Battle of Hastings, in which William of Normandy defeated his cousin, the last Anglo-Saxon king of England. 
What was the name of the English king? It is King Harold Godwinson or King Harold II. Toss up in world literature. Consider the Greek mythical creatures, many of them terrifying monsters. Name the giants with one eye in their foreheads. Freedom. Uh, Cyclops. Yes. And your bonus. Name the terrifying trio of sisters with snakes for hair and whose deadly gaze could turn anyone who looked into their eyes to stone. Freedom. Of uh, the sirens. Gorgons. 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 Okay. Toss up in geometry. Name the inventor of coordinate geometry. Freedom. Uh, Descartes. Rene Descartes is correct. And your bonus. Paper and pencil. If a man is six feet tall and casts a three-foot shadow, and you have a pen fence post that casts a one-foot shadow, how tall is the fence post? Freedom? Two feet tall. Correct. Similar triangles. Toss up in art. The 17th century marked a golden age of painting in Spain, and this man was its crown jewel. His masterpiece, Las Meninas, is pictured on the monitor and demonstrates his naturalistic style. Name him. That is Velasquez. Toss up in biology. What type of plant, based on its lifespan, produces vegetative structures the first year, reproductive structures the second year, and then dies? A biennial. Two years, biennial. Next toss up is in world geography. The largest river delta in the world was formed where the Brahmaputra River joins what other river? The Ganges, world history. This once powerful fleet sailed the seas under King Philip II in hopes of gaining control of trade over the English army. What was the name of Freedom? The Armada. What country? The, uh, the Spanish Armada. Correct, and your bonus. I'll name two explorers, and for five points each, you name the largest body of water that each discovered. Sure. First, Hernando de Soto. Alex? Uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Close. Mississippi River. Okay. You don't get that one. Next, uh, Vasco Balboa. What? Alex? Uh, we'll go again with the Gulf of Mexico. Pacific Ocean. Okay. It is <laughs> halftime. The uh, halftime score is Freedom 70, Stroudsburg 55. Good contest. Good contest. In the first round, we asked the students to tell us something about their role model or some hero they might have, a mentor. So let's start with Stroudsburg Lucas. My hero is Sam Rayburn. Uh, he never let uh, partisan politics get in the way of getting stuff done. Thank you, Anthony. Um, my hero is uh, Andrew Ciroli. He was a great um, academic and a uh, great person, and he was an awesome friend. Thank you. Taylor? My hero would be Thibault Labat. He is a great friend of mine and has 
led me through a whole lot of different experiences. Thank you. Jenna. My heroes would have to be my parents. They always encouraged me to do my best. Thank you. Let's go over to Freedom. Billy. My parents, because they're always pushing me to push me to my best as well. Alex. Um, I would definitely have to say my grandfather. Uh, he didn't have a, an easy life growing up, but he made it through and uh, was really a family man. Fabulous. Linda. I would have to say my sister. <laughs> older sister? <laughs> yeah, older sister. Uh -huh. Rachel. Definitely my 10th grade history teacher, Donna Roman, who inspired me to be better, a better student. Good. Thanks to all of you. Let's continue with a toss-up in British literature. Shakespeare's tragedy, King Lear, provides two parallel stories of filial ingratitude. In addition to the story of Lear and his daughters, Shakespeare gives us the Earl of Gloucester with good and evil children. Name Gloucester's legitimate good son, who in disguise is Tom O'Bedlam. Strasburg. Edwin. Freedom. Edward. Edgar. G-A-R. G-A-R. Very close, very close. Good try. Both sides. Toss up in algebra. A woman's suit listed at $120 was purchased for $96. What was the percentage rate of discount? Freedom? Uh, 20%. Yes. Bonus. Mr. Jones is 28 years old, and his son is four years old. In how many years will Mr. Jones be four times as old as his son? Uh, four years. Four years is correct. It's very difficult in that time period. Good for you. Toss up in biology. In the type of bond found between two amino acids in a protein. Strasburg. Peptide bond. Yes. Bonus for five points each. First name the important class of proteins that catalyze reactions. Taylor. Enzymes. Second. Name the class of proteins that circulate in the blood assisting the immune system. Taylor. White blood cells. Antibodies. Toss up in music. Name the Polish composer whose works are often cited as excellent examples of romanticism in 19th century classical music. One of his preludes, number 20 in C minor, was adapted by Barry Manilow for his hit, Could It Be Magic? That is Chopin. Toss up in world history. The Golden Horde belonged to what empire? Strasbourg. The Mongol Empire. Yes. Your bonus. Superb cavalrymen. The Mongols were given a forbidding nickname by Europeans. What was that nickname? The Devil's Horseman. That is a forbidding name. <laughs> Toss up in U.S. Geography. Rocky Mountain National Park is in what state? Freedom. Uh, Colorado? Yes. Bonus. For five points each, in what state is each of the following national parks? First, Bryce Canyon. Arizona. Alex? Arizona? Utah. Next, right. Big Bend. Alex? Uh, we're going to go with Oregon. Texas. Texas. Okay. 
they do it bigger in Texas. Yes, yes text. <laughs> uh, American literature. Kate Chopin wrote this novel, a psychological account of a woman's search for independence and fulfillment. Name the novel considered her finest. The Awakening. Chemistry. What name is given to the device used to measure heat absorbed or released in a chemical reaction? Strasburg. Calorimeter. Yes. And your bonus. What is the SI unit of heat energy? Strasburg. The jewel. Yes. Toss up mathematics. What is the probability that the spinner on the diagram will land on one of the shaded sectors? I believe it was one beat, uh, so it is Strasburg. One third, third? It is one third, two out of six, and your bonus. Given segment AB with midpoint M, what is the probability of randomly selecting a point on the segment closer to point M than to point A? quarters. I think I did hear uh, Lucas say 75%. Uh, whisper it. Toss up in biology. Multiple choice. The vascular tissue in a leaf is referred to as one, a vein, two, an artery, three, a vascular pit, or four, a vascular cylinder. is one a vein, toss up in language arts. If you abet a criminal activity, of what are you guilty according to the law? Strasburg. Assisting. Encouraging, instigating, supporting, assisting. Next is your bonus. If you abscond, of what are you guilty? Taylor? Denying? Did, did you say denying? Yes. It is fleeing. No. Fleeing the jurisdiction. Toss up in mathematics. What is the slope of the line determined by the points with coordinates negative 2, 7 and 4, negative 5? Freedom? Negative 2. Yes. Bonus? Solve the equation on the monitor for x, expressing your answer as an improper fraction. Alex? Uh, 67 over 9. 31 over 9. Right. Toss up in U.S. history. Aboard the ship Arabella, leading to the New World, a Puritan leader delivered a famous sermon entitled, A Model of Christian Charity. A line from that sermon is, We shall be as a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us. Who delivered the sermon? That was John Winthrop. Mathematics. What is the common ratio of the geometric series that begins with these numbers? Three, negative six. Ne Freedom? Negative two. Yes. Bonus? Find a real number x, such, the, such that the expression on the monitor is a real number. Beep, beep. 
Alex? Negative two. Negative one. Okay. Gives you a zero under the radical. British literature. A place designated as the center of human corruption in John Bunyan's Pilgrim's Progress provided the inspiration for the title of William Makepeace Thackeray's novel that is subtitled, A Novel Without a Hero. Name Thackeray's novel that metaphorically represents the human condition. Vanity Fair, World Geography. Which South American country has the following four major land regions? Andean Highlands, Llanos, Guiana Highlands, and Maracaibo Basin. Freedom, Peru. Over to Strasbourg. Strasbourg. Chile. Venezuela. Toss up in physics. What is the more common name given to the number of molecules in one mole? It is considered a constant with value of six point. Strasbourg. Avogadro's number. Bonus. Fill in the blank in Avogadro's law. Equal blank of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. Strasbourg. Volume. Equal volumes is correct. And your next toss up is in American literature. Which poem by Edgar Allan Poe features a succession of silver, gold, brass, and iron sounds, possibly imitating the cycle of life? Freedom. The, uh, the Raven. Over to Strasbourg. Strasbourg. Delta Heart. The bells, the tintinabulation of the bells, 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 bells. Toss up in mathematics. What fraction of an hour elapses from 2.40? The contest is over. The final score is Strasbourg 135, Freedom 110. Fabulous, fabulous teams. Eight terrific students. Our thanks to Freedom High School for being with us. Congratulations to Strasburg High School. We'll see you a second round later in the season. Thank you for watching and supporting these excellent students. Please join us next week for another contest on Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's Info Link, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39.